You just missed it. I just jammed out to Steve Miller and got the whole thing on video. It's probably oh, really bad. Homemade compressed air oil burner test burn number three. We have the mandatory YouTube torch and infrared thermometer. No more big exciting flames out of the top. We leaned out the combustion a lot with that secondary air nozzle. That just blows air up into the tube. Stuck that piece of pipe on there to get a little bit more draft because the wind was messing with it a lot today. Much leaner. This piece of metal is covering the hole that we were previously using to feed it. I drilled another hole a couple inches this way because we were having a problem with oil dr unburned droplets coming out the top. That seems to have fixed that problem. And I wanted to do this last burn during the daytime. What's impressive, no smoke. Burns totally clean. This is leaking a bit. So it's out. It's still 526 degrees. 625. This thing only reads to 625. Top of the stack is still 550 degrees. In Celsius, that is, um, I don't care. Now we're changing the oil in this. If this seems like a lot of work, just think about all the wood I won't have to split. You having fun with your hand, Uh There's like all these digits. O-ring 48 and a half milliliters by 20, or 2.4. <laughs> for... It's a dollar 31. I need twice of those, apparently. A dollar thirty-one and all that oil leak and aggravation. Yeah. Uh, I thought my woofers were blown. I just need an O-ring. <laughs> so we're just drilling holes now. We're gonna bolt the box down to the burner plate. Gonna weld our heat exchanger tubes in. Box this in. Yeah, something like that. Oh, the cylinder heads aren't identical on the two banks? Apparently not. Got a right and a left. Ooh, a light.
Really? Let's see if you build anything the first time. Just find whatever shit you have laying around. Yeah, and try it. And then go double thick. Like, people watching this are going to go, what are the dimensions of this? It's exactly the dimensions of the piece of tubing I found in Vito's yard. <laughs> and the exact dimensions of a drawer that was in the basement for... 20 years? And then we cut the lid off my old man's parts washer that was down there for 25 years. There's not even a speck of paint on it other than the overspray from the look, look how, cover, probably. Look or, how rusty it is. It's never seen a lick of solvent or oil. But it has shiny yeah, it looks orange like, overspray. And it's, I couldn't even tell you what I painted on that. It's been so long, though. That's what I was trying to figure out. Is that a timing cover, a valve cover? Or is that Alice Chalmers orange? Is those, are those Jacobson parts they painted on there? Uh, Predating when I was doing Chevy yeah, stuff. Yeah, wow. That could be from... Back when you were born? Yeah, <laughs> yep. Hey, you gotta make burner 2.0 with that heavy wall tubing. You're just gonna take everything and triple it. Yeah, like you, you just said, make that back burner, wall thicker. Thrice burner action. I wonder if there, I'll see if there's some one inch wall fucking tubing. I'll have to ask Mike what they use for columns at his work. I think that quarter inch. What about like a column for a building? That's gotta be like eight by eight, maybe quarter. Eight by eight square, quarter inch wall. I mean, this is like three sixteenths. I think that quarter inch yeah. thick you got outside would be plenty. And when this is burning, it glows from here to here. <laughs> yeah, that's silly. <laughs> this light hey, we should have turned that on. Oh well. Oh, that's much better. All right, I'm gonna go change the spark plugs. Someone 
picker, I'm a grinner, I'm a lover, and I'm a sinner. Play my music in the I'm a midnight talker I sure don't want to hurt no
believe it's sealed.
little more than half a tank left. Here's the smoke situation from the waste oil furnace. And that's the wood stove. It comes in. What? The sun roughly is about 90 this isn't a joke. million miles away from the earth. This would not a joke, no. a million miles away from the earth. So we wouldn't have to worry about the dust or the particles that made of moon dust towards the earth. So that's one good positive. Uh, okay, but how much dust would you need for this? And where does this dust come from? Uh, up to this point, everything sounded, uh, you know, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so now <laughs> we get to the dust. So they're going to make a sun shield made of moon so dust. First, they got to get moon dust. First, they got to get to the moon. So we would need an industrial size. Oh, this is great. On the, on the moon. An industrial size mine on the moon. <laughs> Of dust to make that shield big enough. Um, to Hallie, I wanted to make this. Well, let me remind you, the first lunar landing was a hoax. <laughs> trying to get there. <laughs> into outer space to give us our shadow from the sun. Wow. Wow. Um, so it's it's 1.5 million elephants worth of moon dust. They would yes. shoot into space to make a screen. Got it. But here's the thing, Bill. Like, let's let's let me just be on this journey with you. Let's say this happens, okay. right? Could backfire. I mean, it, it, right? Like, I mean, I understand. This could backfire. This is fucking fantastic. There is some 